Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show two different stories. I've been inundated with emails with lots of people sending me fascinating and interesting and somewhat worrying stories. Now I don't always like to do the worrying stories because I don't believe in putting out too much negativity, although sometimes we need to know what's going on. Ideally, it would be better just to concentrate on those positive things and turn our back on all the negative stuff. But sometimes it's good to be aware, as I say. So a couple of interesting stories here. One which absolutely foxed me when somebody sent this to me. Have a look at this and see what you make of it. Uh, this is a fluoridated milk scheme. Black Bull Council, it would seem, uh, want to put fluoride into milk and then give it to children. Can you believe that? All Blackpool, Blackpool primary school children in years one to six are now able to have fluoridated milk as part of the school breakfast scheme. What do they want to do? Kill them? Uh, why fluoride milk, it says in this article, uh, which I will leave a link to, which is at blackpool.gov.uk. Uh, you can have a look at that. Um, so it says, uh, well, why? Because fluoride in milk helps to keep teeth, he teeth healthy. This is uh, such an old claim. It's free and it's of no cost to parents. Oh, really? So if you're going to give kids arsenic just because it's free and it's no cost to parents, would you give it to them? And they say, oh, but it's safe to drink. Why add anything to milk? Uh, that would be my first argument. Uh, and then I would also then go on to say, why drink pasteurized or homogenized milk, standardized milk? Why not give them raw milk, which has the healthy bacteria in if it comes from a good proper farm. However, let's go and explore a little bit more of this nonsense. So the Blackpool fluoridated milk scheme is fluoridated milk is no different to normal milk. Well, <laughs> really? Except that it includes a tiny bit of fluoride, which is safe to drink and helps keep kids' teeth healthy as part of a good dental regime. And then in bold, it really wants to get this message across. Remember, this is a government website. Fluoridated milk is safe to drink. You must be brainwashed to understand this. Fluoride will protect you from everything. And if it's from the government, we know. Whoop! Turn it the other way round. It's in bold. Yes, it should be in big, loud letters. Fluoridated milk is Big N-O-T, not safe to drink, in my humble opinion. You may disagree. W why add anything to milk? Actually, if you turn to raw milk, you're going to be doing your teeth a much bigger favour. But wouldn't it be better not to give kids all that nasty sweets and sugar-infested food to begin with so that their teeth can actually grow in a normal way? Wouldn't it be better to give them things like real vegetables, go to farm shops and eat real meat rather than all the rubbish that you get from the supermarkets which are full of artificial flavourings, full of strange and weird uh, pesticides and colorings and all of that all those preservatives and e numbers wouldn't it be better not to give your children any of that as they're develop developing and if you're going to give them milk from say one why not be natural mum's milk would be the best i would have said rather than fluoridated milk why put any dodgy chemical into a substance which is not something that is natural and is there for your health. It's a chemical that has nothing to do with you. And the fact that they say it's all to do with teeth, I mean, come on, we weren't drinking fluoridated milk when we were in the Neolithics. And in fact, if you go back in time, you realise that people had better teeth then than they do now because mostly they were on a carnivore diet or they were eating raw vegetables or they were eating local and seasonal rather than all the crap we get from the supermarkets. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Oh, yes. So uh, let's just finish off with this article and see what else, what other nonsense it wants to say to us. It says the level of tooth decay in Blackpool is really high and lots of kids are suffering from it. Well, ask yourself why that might be. 31% of five-year-olds in Blackpool have tooth decay. Every year, 400 kids are sent to hospital to have their teeth removed. Yeah? Well, maybe that is a message. That is a big message to say the stuff you're eating and ingesting, uh, maybe even the stuff you're breathing or the water you're drinking is not fit. It may have absolutely nothing. So why put another chemical into the mix? That would be my argument. Uh, fluoridated milk has been offered to all primary school children in year one 
uh, since 2016. Maybe there's a correlation between them having the fluoridated milk in 2016 and the 31% of five-year-olds having their teeth removed. Has ever thought of that? But let's have a look. Here's a website I found pretty quickly, Healthy Focus, Seven Proven Dangers of Fluoride. And it's got some dental information here. So it talks about harmful fluoride, a harmful neurotoxin. The presence of fluoride in water supply has been a growing topic of controversy for the past few years. Once fluoride was heralded by the United States CDC as one of the greatest public health achievements in the 20th century. Yeah, once when they were um, either ignorant or they were trying to get away with this... um, what is it? It's a, it's a surplus stuff, isn't it? It's a chemical that's surplus to requirements. So rather than try and get rid of it properly, they put it into the water and all other places. Now the artificial addition of fluoride into the drinking water is now coming firmly under the microscope. The controversy was heightened when the world's most respected medical journal recently classified fluoride officially as a dangerous neurotoxin. There it is. Um, The article was published in The Lancet in 2014, put fluoride in the same category as other harmful chemicals, including lead, mercury and arsenic. Well, what about that? Is that uh, is that a sensible thing to give to young children growing up neurotoxins? Is that why we're seeing many of the children at the moment with things like ADHD or learning difficulties or autism? Is that what's going on? And now you want to put it into their milk? Have you gone raving mad? If you are a mother or a father and you have a new child and you're thinking, what shall I give them? Really have a serious thought about what is a natural product. Think about, I mean, use your blooming blooming brain. Think about how many thousands, hundreds of thousands of years we have been on this planet and we didn't have fluoride coming from some industrial process shoved into the water or shoved into toothpaste, um, let alone put into the milk of a cow, a goat or even your mother. I mean, if you're drinking mother's milk and you're drinking ordinary water and your mother's drinking water, you've probably got fluoride in it anyway, which is going to be doing some harm. You, you know, we are being poisoned left, right and centre. It doesn't help that the government want to add to that poison, depopulate the planet by getting rid of the kids or turning them into mental cases by fluoridating their brains. I mean, it is just a very, very sad reality and it, it, it saddens me so much. So uh, there we are. So another reason. So here we are. Reasons to avoid fluoride. Fluoride as a development neurotoxin. Obviously, that is the reason we've just looked at. Fluoride reduces IQ. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Let me just flick that on. So here we are. I'll leave the link so you can look at this. Reasons to avoid. One, fluoride as a development neurotoxin. Two, fluoride reduces IQ. Three, fluoride can affect the thyroid. There is plenty of evidence that when fluoride gets into your drinking water, it can have an adverse effect on the thyroid. According to the British study published in 2015, drinking fluoridated water can almost double the risk of hyperthyroidism. I don't know what that is, never had it, but um, yeah, diminishes the amount of iodine available in the thyroid. And that's another thing. Get some supplements and get some of that iodine into you. Talk to Clive DeCarl and have a look at one of my videos in which we have interviewed him. Might be a sensible thing. Four, fluoride may contribute to Alzheimer's disease. So uh, autopsy evidence here in bold, it says, has revealed that Alzheimer's uh, patients have higher levels of aluminium which is another neurotoxin in the brain. And further research has demonstrated there may be a link between high aluminium levels and fluoride. Number five, fluoride impairs the pineal gland, the pineal gland. Never managed to pronounce that perfectly well. Uh, Your pineal gland is a tiny gland, big function when it comes to brain. Of course, it also connects you to source if you're spiritual. It is responsible for producing melatonin, which is essential for healthy sleep patterns, but also has an antioxidant property which protects the brain from disease. Um, So, yep, that's something to be avoided. And in young children, 
You know, if that is connecting you spiritually to source, if that is producing um, melatonin so that you get good sleep and all those good things that you develop during the sleep, aren't they things that are natural and that you need? I would have said so. I would have said so. Uh, six, fluoride might cause nervous system degeneration. Oh, great. Let's have some of that, shall we? After fluoride crosses the uh, barrier to the brain, I presume that's the blood-brain barrier, it can result in degeneration to certain parts of the brain, namely in the cerebellum, the hippocampus, and the neocortex. This can have a devastating effect on many of our brain's functions. Well, we don't want that for our developing children, do you? And uh, why would you do something? Uh, let's just go to the, before I make that last comment, seven, Fluoride might be linked to ADHD. Well, I mentioned that at the beginning, did I not? The, the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder uh, may be attributed to that here in, in bold. It says the study was published in 2015 and found that ADHD was more prevalent in children living in areas with higher levels of fluoride. And what can you do about it? Well, what do you think? The amount of fluoride in water. Obviously, uh, things like water, you can filter or you can use reverse osmosis machines. I've got a video coming up with a reverse osmosis machine very soon. Um, uh, somebody gave it to me to test out and have been trying it. So I'll bring you a report and how you can get one if you want one. Um, I'm not paid to do that, but uh, you can check that out. That video will be coming up. Or, of course, you can uh, distill your water to get rid of it as much as you can. Um, you can certainly avoid taking milk that they have put fluoride in. Why would anybody want to put fluoride that has a question mark hanging over it? Oh, but it's safe, they say. Yeah, but that's the government. Come on, get real, ladies and gentlemen. That is the government pretending that they can look after your uh, health. And uh, we know from medical interventions and all sorts of other things, they seem to be very much in bed with uh, Big Pharma. And that seems to be a disaster for us living men and women. Avoid fluoride like the plague. It really is a nasty thing. I'll leave the links. Go and make your own mind up and see what you like. I was going to do another article, but I'll do that in a separate video, completely unrelated. I wasn't quite sure how worked up I was going to get on this fluoriding thing. And if you live in the Blackpool area, if you live in that Blackpool area, I would certainly be writing to your MPs. I would be writing to the government, to the council. I would be putting them right. I mean, they're not going to listen, obviously, but you need to tell them that they are killing our children, that they are damaging our youngsters, that they are putting poisons into their blood and into their brain. They need to be told that we know the scams that they are doing. That's my opinion. It is just an opinion. You may disagree. You're very welcome to disagree. Thank you very much, however, for watching.